In meekness and humility, he came to earth as the Prince of Peace. And we have come together today to worship him, to give him thanks for his amazing love that he has given to us, that God has given to us through his son, Jesus. We do have a few announcements to share with you this morning uh, as we come together to worship. Uh, I almost said before we worship, but announcements should be a part of our worship because we're thinking about all the ways of being able to serve God and worship him uh, through our service. So a couple things to share with you. First of all, if you'd like to purchase one of our poinsettias in honor of a, or in memory of a loved one, uh, you'll find an order form out in the, the uh, lobby on the small round welcome to our church table that's in the lobby. So if you look out there, you'll find that. And also, we want to help you save money. And so if you would like to send a Christmas card to someone in the core, just place it in the large center basket in the lobby and uh, later on this season you can come and pick up the cards that are addressed to you. So that's a means of being able to share your Christmas cards with each other. Also we wanted to let you know about a special band concert that's going to take place this afternoon. At four o'clock an ensemble is going to begin playing a concert at Top of the World. I think it's about the corner of America's North and America's West. Uh, that we will be having a concert there uh, with an ensemble playing. So if you'd like to join us, uh, we encourage you and invite you to do so at 4 o'clock this afternoon. Playing Christmas songs and lots of other things. Now, I, some of you have been reading your mail, of, of course, your email, etc. And uh, you will know that we've been sharing with you a concern that we have you will know Jim and Barb Odgers. Uh, Jim has been a very, they've both been very faithful soldiers of our Corps. Jim is a bandsman, and uh, they have given good service uh, for many years, and longtime friends of ours um, in the teen group together as young people. And uh, we, we are very concerned for Jim right now. If you've noticed, he, he has an issue with the side of his face up here that they've just determined this past week is cancerous. Um, so Jim needs our prayers. Um, they're quite concerned. They're having a hard time with this. Um, they're, of course, going to see specialists this week. But uh, I would like to ask that you make sure that you pray for them this week. And in fact, I would like to pray for him right now because we believe in a prayer answering God. Let's pray for Jim. We love you, our God. We love you because, again, this season we are reminded of how you first loved us. And we thank you, our God, because you are the all-knowing, all-powerful God. We pray right now for our good friends, Jim and Barb, and especially for Jim and what he's going through physically. Father, it's a scary moment for them. And we just pray, our God, that you will place your hand upon Jim. We do believe in your healing power. We believe in your all-knowing power. We believe in your wisdom. And so we come to you just now, trusting in you, dear God. Guide the doctors, guide the nurses, help them to make the right decisions, Lord, for Jim's sake. Be with Barb, encourage her, comfort her during these days, and may they just sense the warmth of your Holy Spirit within their home and upon their lives just now. Father, I just pray that you might even surprise them with your strength, surprise them with your comfort, and yes, surprise them even with your peace during these days. And may they sense that we are praying for them even now. Thank you, our God, for hearing our prayer. Thank you, God, for allowing us to have opportunity to bring such needs bef before you. And now we leave it and give it unto you, trusting in you, knowing of your love. Thank you, our God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Good morning. This is a special Sunday, second Sunday in Advent. Uh, all these Sundays are very special as we worship together during this wonderful season. 
Uh, another special aspect of this Sunday is this is the day that uh, most of you probably received a communication that uh, this is the day that we think about the worldwide ministry of our Salvation Army and uh, we also think of it as a time of giving a gift that uh, helps in that effort throughout the world. And we do it as a sort of a celebration of the birthday of Jesus. And so if you have your uh, envelope or you want to participate in that, uh, please do that through the boxes that are available that we normally put our offerings and our ties in. And uh, please uh, think about that. If you haven't had a chance to do that this week, sometime in the next couple of weeks, please, please do that. In Isaiah, the 60th chapter, verse 1, it says this, Arise, Jerusalem, let your, shine, let your light shine for all to see, for the glory of the Lord rises to shine on you. And we know that Jesus is that light. Our offerings and tithes and our special gifts help this light shine in a dark world. Shall we pray? Our Father, thank you for sending your Son to be the light of the world. Help us to reflect that light with everyone we meet. Use our tithes and our offerings to spread the light of the gospel throughout this world, and especially here in our own community, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.